Today, I'm doing two things. I need to clean the supplement rack anyway today, and I thought I'd also do uh, what supplements I take probably everyone needs to take. And I hate promoting the supplement industry, but some things really make sense, at least according to what science says. So, let's give it a go. You might say, whoa, all those supplements, but hear me out and you'll realize there isn't that much. In fact, probably much less than the average meat. So, in fact, technically you'd probably not even think these are all supplements. So, let me separate them and you'll see what I mean. So, the ones on the right are what you'd technically think as supplements and the ones on the left I wouldn't consider as supplements. But, I do treat them as though they were. You'll understand why. So, here I'm just using an empty bottle and in here I have clove powder, so that's just a normal spice but I supplement with it because it's very uh, healthy. It's not capsules, it's actual powder, it's stuff you find in a normal supermarket. Chili powder, very good for you and very healthy. So, again, I use it so often I keep it over here. Cinnamon, just normal spice. Black pepper, use that in my food, but also for my smoothies, um, especially when there's turmeric in there, so that it increases its bioavailability. Here, this is just a normal spice, a mixture of cane powder. Um, I don't remember, and honestly, I probably have to throw it away because it's been there for ages. And this is also the same thing, another mix. What well, used to be a cinnamon thing, but now it's a mix of different herbs and spices like fennel, uh, regular stuff, coriander seeds, stuff like that. And the rest, so these five, are just aromatherapy oils. So obviously, I'm not consuming those. Um, using them to ah this I'm using in my mouthwash recipe you can, can find it in my videos and these I'm using in my deodorant recipe which is also one of my videos this is finished I have to throw this away and this is the replacement which I also use sometimes in my deodorant recipe. So let's get to the actual supplements. In fact, there's a, dub there's a duplicate over here, if that's the best word for it. Um, so I've got this B12, which is metal something, let's see. It's metal cobalamin, which, as I found out, is actually barely absorbable. So I'm kind of finishing this off, and at the same time, um, I bought this, which is metal cyanocobalamin, something like that. Let's see, cyanocobalamin, exactly. And this, according to Michael Greger and the science which he reads at least, it's much more absorbable. This, you might think it's purely a vegan thing, but trust me, with for example, in America, only 1 or 2 percent of the population being vegan and 38 percent being B12 deficient, it's not a vegan issue. Then, so these are double, so in fact there's actually supposed to be one less. This is a health choice, so nothing to, to, to being vegan, in fact lots of meat eaters have this, probably because they suffer from more digestive problems. Um, it's these are probiotics so why do I have two it's because this has the one on the right has most of the friendly bacteria but it's missing one of them which I find really does me good with regards to digestion which is the one on the left so I kind of have these two in the morning and there's vitamin D which again is not a vegan thing you get vitamin D from the Sun the sun, unfortunately, partially because we actually eat meat, uh, has become very dangerous. We don't have as much protection from the ozone layer, and 
so we have to get our vitamin D from our foods but unfortunately um, unless you're having uh, fortified foods then you're not getting vitamin D so the best way is to get it from supplements and there's a video on that by Dr. Michael Greger that uh, shows that supplements is the way to go in fact another point on that is that uh, you actually produce vitamin D in the sun only at certain times of the day and depending on which part of the world you're living in um, how far away from the equator you are close to the equator you might have larger time windows where you can produce vitamin D but those are probably when the rays are most damaging and in northern countries the further north you go the less of a time window it also depends on the season so in winter practically no countries have are at the right angle uh, for the sun to help you produce vitamin D in in summer yes you probably have a, a you have a time window in most countries at least up to the up to maybe Spain uh, you probably in the UK you don't produce any vitamin D for example and then this is a personal choice again nothing related to being vegan it's ginkgo I used to have this before I was vegan for a long time and I only started recently having this again only because of my job stressful um, it needs constantly being alert and and, and uh, concentrating I have to be at my peak mental uh, performance and capability uh, which my vegan diet has helped a lot but this is the extra boost which I need to get that edge and finally you've seen this in, in a previous or future video um, but uh, well, we'll see when that goes out so I'll just explain that I'm having uh, this VEG accelerator and uh, yeah I'm just finishing it up and won't be buying it again it's I've seen it does have a good effect um, on recovery uh, generally recovers so well that in the first place I don't even need this probably it's because of the vegan diet um, I thought it might give me that extra edge but uh, when I saw that it's got beta carotene as one of the ingredients knowing that beta carotene on its own is uh, harmful as opposed to when you're getting it from the whole food which is in, in that case it's beneficial so I won't be using this in fact what I do I mix this with uh, my green smoothie hopefully it's acts synergistically with the other nutrients and won't have as much as a negative effect some bro science for you there and then I've got this carbo grain which is basically maltodextrose I think where is that ah, pure ma maltodextrin it's good that it's not GMO but still it's processed really processed and didn't seem to have much of an effect on me so it's not healthy and has no benefits at least from from my experience so we'll be finishing that up and not using it again and finally if you can really call this a supplement this is the powdered form of does which is a seaweed and I use this uh, to make sure I get enough iodine I've never, never been diagnosed as iodine deficient um, I've only started having this uh, this year so it's after two or three years of having of being vegan uh, so really taking this because of what I've read that you have you should be careful about getting enough iodine and this is just a, a precautionary supplement let's say which I think anyone should have whether you're vegan or not in fact I know many meat eaters who have thyroid problems which generally tend to be related to iodine deficiency or too much iodine maybe but mostly iodine deficiency and uh, all I have to have at least according to Dr. Michael Greger is half a teaspoon of this a day which as you've seen in my previous video I mix with my uh, super power super superfood powder mix whatever you want to call it which then goes into my smoothies and to be completely honest so that I'm really as transparent as I possibly can 
Um, I'm actually con including things which I don't even consider as supplements, but just in case, I'll just mention them. So I'm having chlorella, uh, particularly because I know that it's a health food and nothing more than that. In fact, I've been buying it without even knowing what its actual benefits are. But just for your information, it's uh, protein, vitamin E, and iron, which are its strong points. But I'm not really worried about any of those, in fact. And then there's uh, organic barley powder, same thing as chlorella. Just know it's a green, so it definitely must be good for you. Um, but just for your information, it's high in vitamin E, iron, and zinc. And finally, flaxseed, which this is even more of a whole food as far as I know, as far as I'm concerned, rather than, than and less of a supplement but than the other two. But uh, it's organic flaxseed, which has already been ground up for my omega trees. Can you call this a supplement? Not really, but I treat it as such. Uh, it's very high in selenium, so you don't want to overdo it, at least I don't wish to. And what I do is have about half a Brazilian nut to a, one and a half in an entire day to get my selenium fix. Then there's walnuts, I have about two walnuts, so that's four halves for my additional omega trees or ALAs and that's my pumpkin seeds sorry for the bag it, I actually had a jar but if you've seen my previous or the next video uh, it, I dropped it and broke it and had to throw it all away so um, pumpkin seeds I'm not really sure why I have them it's mostly because I know they're nutritious and, that, and that's it so can't really call it a supplement either and that's completely it As if you're wondering how could you actually manage to incorporate all of these things, um, as I said, I've got a, a, a hack uh, video where I'm showing how I can save time by pre-preparing the mix between, for example, this, the chlorella, the barley uh, powder, and the flaxseed, and the does, and then all I have to do every morning is just take one scoop and I'm done. So that's one hack, and when it comes to the rest, for example, these three, what I do is uh, they're very easily mixed. I mix them into my oatmeal, so it's just half of this, one tablespoon of this, four of these, and it's mixed in my oatmeal. And while speaking of oatmeal, I remember that I also supplement on hemp seeds. There I get one tablespoon and also mix it in my oatmeal. Yeah, I could probably do a similar thing to my superfood hack, um, by mixing these beforehand and just get, I don't know, a tablespoon or two every morning of the mix. I also have this supplement, not that, not too often. It's been uh, discussed quite a lot in Dr. Michael Greger's uh, videos. It's quite a high antioxidant uh, fruit. It's, um, I think is the Indian name. The, in, in English it's Indian gooseberries. They're quite incredible stuff. I actually bought these and started having them because I knew I was going on a holiday and I'd be a lot in the sun. So besides sunblock, I think that this would help a lot uh, fight off um, da sun damage. So there you have it. That's all. Pretty easy. And I think everyone should be doing most of these uh, just to be as healthy as possible. If you like this video, give a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, stay tuned for the next videos. And by the way, I'll link all my past videos that I mentioned in the description section down below.